What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Christopher Miniweather here with Deadstock Barbershop and today is day number mm, three. Three days of Vlogmas. We're into it. We're building consistency and we are growing. Today what we're going to talk about is Deadstock Barbershop, the Deadstock part or the sneaker part. Uh, yesterday I told you guys about what Deadstock meant or that might have been two days ago, I can't remember, but I told you guys that what Deadstock is and how I came up with the title uh, for my barbershop and my YouTube channel name. So with that in mind, what we're gonna do is something that I've never done. I'm gonna take you guys into my closet and I'm gonna show you guys some of my kicks. You guys have been requesting this in the Vlogmas comments. So I'm gonna take you guys downstairs into my closet and show you around. I'll also tell you guys a story about uh, a pair of those shoes and why they're so special to me. So uh, you guys follow me. get started with showing you guys a few of the kicks and then I got a funny story to tell you so I really like these right here these Jordan 3 animal print crazy I picked these up last summer definitely one of my top shoes one of my favorites all of my shoes are facing heel toe heel toe heel toe and that is something that I learned at the Nike store and it actually I feel like it gives you more space to stack shoes. So that's a, a shoe nugget right there for you. I really hate these shoes right here. I don't ever wear those Jordan 3 uh, like jokers or whatever. These are my, one of my favorites. The, the fours are one of my favorites. So as you can see, like through the years, I've had a few different pair. This is just a very beautiful shoe. This shoe is so clean to me. I'm gonna show you guys what happened. Not too long ago, I was playing outside uh, with my son in front of the house and I was hooping in these fours. Like I didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, I had these shoes for a long time, but I didn't expect to happen what happened. Let me show you guys what, what it looks like. And like I said, they're old, but I didn't expect to come out of my shoe. And so I did a move. I think I did like a step back. I snatched the ball back you know, rock my son a little bit and then I pulled up on him and I felt something happening while I was lifting off from the ground. Matter of fact, I recorded it, so I'm gonna show you guys. Watch this. Oh. 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 My shoes. Yeah, so I know y'all see that move I hit my son with. Hey, it's it's no remorse. He's 13. Anybody can get it. I don't care what age you are. I'm going to give you the blues out there on that court. But it could be dangerous when you're hooping in some old basketball shoes. A lot of fours. Fours. And then we get to the wolf gray fives. Got some metallic black fives. Oreo fives. Then it goes to these sixes right here. Some more of my favorites. I really love sixes. So I got quite a few pair of sixes. Those are the infrareds and the white infrareds. And then the Lakers. Hey, world champion. Matter of fact, y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Yo, world champion. Matter of fact, y'all see it. Y'all see the boy. You see the boy. Y'all. Hey, hey, man, stop playing with my boy, Brian, man. Y'all show some respect. Matter of fact, this is what y'all don't know about. Look at this. Mamba, RP. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna get this thing framed. Oh my God. Mitchell and Ness. So I'm actually gonna get this thing framed and uh, put up in the shop. But y'all stop playing with LeBron and them in them Los Angeles. Y'all stop playing with my mans out there. Hollywood, stop playing. But anyway, back to the shoes. So yeah, uh, those were the Lakers sixes. 
Man, I can't remember what these are called. Uh, whatever sixes. Raptor sevens. Bordeaux. Got some eights. Some nines. Some tens. These are the regular tens. Oh, no. These are the 45 on them. These are regular. Got some playoff twelves. Got them the mellow twelves. Got some Yeezys and stuff in there. Some more LeBrons. Uh, let's see the 11 IEs back here. Got my busted uh Space Jams that I was hooping in. Got some Brits, Concords. Uh, can't remember what these is called. Uh, something about Baltimore. I can't remember. Um. So these right here, I got to tell you guys a story about these kicks right here. I love these shoes. Okay, so, and I'm sorry, Cameron, I got to do this to you, bro, because you did this to me a long time ago. And I was hurt, bro. I was super hurt. Funny story. So back in my first purchase of, of Jordans ever were those shoes I just showed you guys, the Snake Skin Jordan 11 Low Tops. I was in middle school. So like I said, I've been in love with shoes forever. And we just didn't have the money to get all the really nice kicks like, you know, like I really wanted. And so I, I was <laughs> I was lucky enough to get in a car accident in like seventh grade and I didn't get hurt. But I told him I got hurt because my auntie said, act like you was hurt. And so I was like, yeah, the seatbelt is kind of hurt across my chest. So <clears throat> they gave me some money for this they gave me like i don't know maybe it was a thousand dollars and that was like so much money back then I, I had to pay for a window i had broke at school um yeah i was a troubled child but i broke a window at school some of the money went to that um my mom probably made me put a hundred dollars or something in church i don't know and the rest i bought like my graduation uh outfit from eighth grade about time the money actually came through and I bought my first pair of Jordans, the Snakeskin 11 Lows, right? And guess what happened? I got them. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm like, yes, I finally got some J's. And I get them home. And my older brother comes over. And he knows that I had got some money. But by this time, this was my last purchase. I had just bought those shoes. I went to Fred Meyer. They used to have a sneaker section on the side. Um, and I bought these J's, man. And he comes over. And he's like, say, man, I really need to borrow some money. And I'm like, bro, I don't got no money. Like, I just spent it all. This was my last thing. I spent it, the last little money. It was like $110 or $115 on these Jordans. And... He was like, okay, well, can you take them back? You got the receipt. You can take them back. I need to borrow that money and I'll pay you back is what he told me. And me being the little uh, naive 13 year old that I was, I didn't want to do it, but I did it. And I believed him, man. I believed him. So we go and we take my shoes back and I never seen that money ever again like never seen it and the shoes didn't come back out until i think those came out maybe last year but up until then i've been wanting those shoes so bad and they just would not re-release for some reason i text my brother i was like say man remember <laughs> remember i bought let you borrow this money back when i was in eighth grade and i took my shoes back and you said you were gonna pay me back and you never did hey these shoes are coming back out man uh can you buy them from me and he never responded to the text so yeah that was a, a kind of a jerk move but it is what it is man I, I went and i bought them myself i knew i had to have them i think i won a raffle or something like that or somebody must have got them for me or something either, either way i ended up back with the shoes so that is my first pair of jordan story but after that i was working i was 16 i got a job and then i bought the the bread 13 so yeah, that was my first official pair when I, you know, got to actually keep them and wear them and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, back to the shoes. Green snake skins. We got the uh, opening day. These are, um, these were the Olympics. And then you got the, these two also came out when I was in eighth grade. So I wanted both of those. My homeboy Terrell Jenkins, he had everything. Uh, he had the Nike Connect and his dad was into kicks too. Uh, French blues. I got the obsidians. All this stuff is old, y'all. Like, 
Them Obsidians is from the, the maybe 2013, 2012 release or something like that. Playoffs. Playoff uh, uh, 14s. Got some gray 14s. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but those are the 18s. Uh, Air Force Ones. Um, whatever these shoes are called, I can't think right now. Uh, phone posits. <laughs> and then it's a bunch of Air Maxes and some my running shoes and yeah just a bunch of air maxes some harachis i don't know if you guys can see it it's kind of dark some harachis a couple pair of harachis and the rest of my vans and then some dress shoes back there and then i'm going to show you guys what's in these boxes i'll bring them upstairs with me all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that little trip through my closet uh what we got right here is a couple pair of kicks that I'm gonna show you guys. This is gonna be a quick unboxing of a couple pair of Air Jordan 1s that I picked up. And you guys let me know what you think. So I'll start with this one. These are, I can't remember what these ones are called. They're like the Japanese garden or something like that. Tokyo garden, something crazy, but check out the bottom. crazy this is like some kind of turf i don't know what this material is then it comes with the extra string so just in case you want to switch it up from the black you can pull out the green strings super crazy shoe man this thing is nice bro this bottom is like everything bro like that rainbow, y'all got to see it one more time, bro. That rainbow pattern is crazy. I love these kicks. I might turn it to a shoe channel or something. I do kind of want to have, like, both things going on. But we're going to focus on being uh, consistent first before we try to add anything to this channel. So that was the first shoe. I picked these up, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. Something like that. I don't know. And... These are my last win that I got on the sneakers app probably about three weeks ago, three to four weeks ago. Um, I, I really like these. I like these a lot. So these are the, I, I'm tripping right now. I can't think of the names of anything, but these, I think they're like the Tokyo ones from like the 2000 release or 2001 release, but they just re-released these as well beautiful oh my god look at that <laughs> crazy bro are y'all seeing this let me get this slow motion spin for y'all give you a bottom view crazy i love that print on the bottom the jordan ones I hate it because the Jordan 1s are now popular. I've been a Jordan 1 fan. I don't know. You guys saw my closet. I have a lot of Jordan 1s that, and they're old. And I've given, given a lot of them away. I've given a lot of shoes away. And um, yeah, so I have a lot of 1s and I've been buying them for a long time. The 1s were a really cheap shoe. And people only wanted the 11s. They only wanted like, I don't know, 4s and stuff like that. But they were not on the 1s back when I was on the 1s. All of a sudden now... I don't know what rapper or somebody started wearing them and uh, probably Travis Scott or something. And now everybody wants every single Jordan and it's you can't buy nothing no more. So, yeah, you got to win them off raffles. raffles. And I won these and I'm, bro, ugh, I hate that I got to sell them. I'm not going to lie. I They didn't have my size, so I quickly went and got this size. So I won't be having these that long. I'm sitting on them and their size... 10 if anybody wants these i'm sitting on these because i'm gonna let the price shoot up a little bit and then i'll be uh selling them on StockX or in the facebook uh sneaker society or something like that so that is the end of day three i hope you guys enjoyed my stories enjoyed my closet enjoyed my video uh, i will see you guys tomorrow peace